Jamaican population for sure. And I'm a Trini from Tunapuna. I'm very proud of that background. I have been for years. And of course, all the Caribbean right here meets in Brooklyn in the next few days because you know that high time, the top time, is around what we call Labor Day. But in Brooklyn, it's called Labor Day and West Indian American Day Carnival. And as you know, we begin with Juve, which takes place as we lead up to the parade on Monday, September the 5th. But on Wednesday, Thursday of this week, Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, every night, behind the Brooklyn Museum, there are great entertainments with the top stars in the Caribbean that are there all those nights by the West Indian Day, West Indian American Day Carnival Association, leading up to Juve on Monday morning, and then the parade itself, which begins about 11 a.m. on Monday, September the 5th. Millions of people will gather to celebrate the important contributions that Caribbean Americans make not only to Brooklyn, but to all of the United States of America. And I'm very proud to share Borough Hall with our Deputy Borough President, a proud daughter of Jamaica, Yvonne Graham. Today, it's about getting your pledges to give blood. Now this hurricane, this nasty lady, and she was nasty, by the name of Irene, nasty. It's like a blind date gone bad, that's all I can tell you. She should have left us, she was never welcome, and she left us, and believe me, we couldn't wait for her to leave. But in her wake, as you know, lots of people's homes were destroyed in the tri-state area, particularly upstate. There are still people on Long Island with absolutely no electricity, as well as certain pockets here in Brooklyn and in Queens. Luckily here in Brooklyn, we skirted the worst of it, although there were many, many floods in people's basements, roofs, we lost a lot of trees, over 400 trees were lost in Brooklyn. Many cars were smashed because of falling trees. Luckily, no one was hurt. But one thing that did happen to New York City was that the normal donation of blood stopped. And let me tell you, I don't know if any of you have ever been in a hospital, but you never know, you never know what life brings you. And I know one thing, God forbid you ever have to go in a hospital and need blood. You don't want to hear excuses that there's no blood. You want blood. In order for us to have that blood available in hospitals, we have to give it. This is not yet something they manufacture in a factory. It can only come from humans. So it's our responsibility, Brooklyn, from one end of Brooklyn to the other, to donate blood. So please, that's what this is about. Keenan, I've made the best appeal I can. It's your life, and it could be your life, so please donate blood with that. Enjoy the, west, the rest of the summer, and I'll see you on the Parkway September the 5th. Thank you all very, very much.